This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Kahalah Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Kakadash Shalom to the elect and the remnant of the children of Israel. My name is Brother Daniel Allah from the province in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Alkim who are pushing out this work in truth and sincerity. Also, Rakatar to the Alkwaf who are listening as well. <coughs> Let nobody shake your faith. Let nobody shake your faith or take away your faith. Be selfish of your faith. Let not the incredulity or others' opinions, vain opinions, ruin your faith. The reason why I say this, and also this is a quick hit, you, you have to be selfish with your faith. You know, you know how you know an average person is selfish on certain materials or certain uh, secrets, but within this truth, you have to be selfish of what you believe in. You have to be selfish of your faith. All right. You have to stand of what you believe in, because there's so many people with so many vain opinions. So many uh, wayward doctrines, so many philosophies, and vain deceits that's in the world. And they'll bring you all kinds of ruckus. And they're willing to move you off the pedestal and, and make you believe of what they believe. And you don't want that, man. The Lord gave us something precious. Which is, uh, which is the mysteries of the kingdom. You know, the pure doctrine. And you don't want nobody, family members, friends, you know, co-workers, or people that you see in the grocery store. Or you don't want to fall in their uh, traps. You know, so you just, you don't want to be that person that gets their faith shaken off the pedestal. I'm going to read second as was 15 again. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And, and that's what the Lord did. He, he put the words in the prophet's mouth all the way until the, uh, on the latter days, man, which is today. <clears throat> the last days are today, man. We're witnessing all kinds of prophecies that's about to be fulfilled in these last days. Continuing, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Because a lot of people are going to have all kinds of wicked imaginations, what they want to do with the prophets. And, you know, and the remnant of the children of Israel, including the elect, 144,000. Let not the incredulity, which means unbelief, of them, of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. So a lot of people are going to try to shake your faith of what you believe in. And you don't want that. You got to be rooted in this truth. You got to fight for this truth. And you got to do your best, man. You know, do everything that you can to please the Lord, you know, and watch videos, pray, you know, and uh, you know me, you know, me and the brother had a conversation. There's a difference between praying and praying without ceasing, and we must pray without ceasing because we don't want the Lord to get rid of us. So, pray without ceasing, you know, and uh, fasting, <clears throat> the whole nine. To keep us in the faith and to stay in the spirit. 
I have another precept, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Verse 4, the Most High forbid. So, it doesn't matter what these people think. It doesn't matter of how they feel. It's what the scriptures say. So anyone's unbelief. Now, a true event that's about to happen is World War III. Some people think World War III is not going to exist. Some people believe, some people um, don't believe that there's nuclear missiles here on Earth, which is ridiculous, you know? I'm going to read on. The Most High forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. So let the scriptures be true and every man a liar, because the scriptures are holy. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified and thy sayings and thy and mightest overcome when thou art judged. <coughs> so the message is don't let nobody's unbelief or vain opinions um, take the best of you and to move you out of your pedestal or your lot within this truth. So I hope this class was edifying to the elect. Call Allah, Yahweh. Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Kakadas. Till next time I say Shalom.